Hey y'all, welcome to a new vlog. I'm going to try to attempt to do a work week in my life this week. It is already Monday and I feel so chaotic. Like, I feel like this day is just crazy. Um, currently, Facebook and Instagram are down and my job is like to post on Instagram and Facebook and LinkedIn. LinkedIn's fine. Little background, if you guys are new to my channel, um, I have a part-time job. I work at a student housing company for their corporate level, so I help with their social media. And then I also get sent out to our properties to do photography and videography and just help with getting like marketing materials, um, like YouTube ads, and also just like pictures and photographs for graphics later on. Um, so yeah, that is my part-time job. And then I also do freelance photography and videography. Currently I'm on a break because if you guys aren't new, you guys would know that I just got a breast reduction. So I'm just trying to let that heal. Um, I mean, my camera's not that heavy, but I just want to take the month off while I could. So I'm pausing on that for now. And then I also do YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. And let me tell you, that stuff is pretty consuming. So I definitely count it as a job too. I vlogged this weekend and I showed you guys that I got a new cactus. I live in Austin and like we went to like one plant store and there were so many cacti. It felt like I hit the lottery. They were stunning and it makes the room like feel so cool. And I also got my couch that I've been waiting on since June last week. I also think I vlogged that already but I'm just so excited because this whole room is just like coming together. This is like our guest room slash my filming room slash my office um and it's been nice because i've actually been motivated to like sit at the desk and not sit at the couch in the living room it is currently 205 i clock out at 3 every day so i start at 7 a.m and clock out at 3 which is so nice i also don't work on fridays so perks of the part-time life i'm about to get started on an audit um a lot of our properties have videos that are saying now leasing for 21 fall 21 and it is already fall 21 so i need to audit every website to make sure you know the videos don't say that or if they do i need to remake the videos slash like cut that out i'm thinking i won't even put like now leasing for fall 22 because then i'm just gonna have to do this next year or something so I'm gonna get started on that. And then at three, I'll clock out. And honestly, I really need to film some content. I need to film like a brand deal at a grocery store, but I don't really feel like putting on makeup. So maybe I'll put that off till tomorrow. I kind of want to do something like active after work, maybe like go on a walk or something. Cause I just need to start being a little bit more active. I've been using the whole breast reduction thing as an excuse, but I need to stop doing that. It's time to get healthy. I'm going to the beach in like a week or something, like maybe two weeks. So gotta be looking my best. It's 3.07, just clocked out and Instagram and Facebook is still down, but I'm now gonna edit my own vlog. I was kind of just in the mood to vlog this weekend, which I'm so glad I did vlog. And I'm just so excited because I think I'm gonna take off some work when I'm at the beach. And I'm kind of thinking about doing daily vlogs, but also it's kind of hard to because when you're at the beach and you're swimming all the time, like you don't want to get your camera like all sandy and stuff like that. Last Friday, I emailed my manager with a bunch of like brands that I wanted them to reach out to and just like pitch me. I just thought the beach would be such a good place to like create content, especially for just like fashion brands. So I wanted to see if anyone would be able to gift me some stuff. She reached out to Abercrombie and I was so excited because they said like that they would send me a couple things and that just like literally made my day. I actually just placed an order on Abercrombie. So I got to pick out a couple more things. You guys know I love Abercrombie. So that was very exciting. It's been really nice to just have a manager to be able to like just pitch you to other brands. I feel like I'm creative with visual stuff, but I suck at writing. And every time I pitched myself to a brand, I feel like I just sound dumb or like I just don't sound respectable, I don't know. Or maybe I'm just like doubting myself, but I feel like I never get replies. So it's cool that like a company is reaching out on my behalf and it just like looks so much more professional. And they already have like a lot of connects. So it's just easier to kind of get in that way. Um, but yeah, that is going pretty well. I feel like I'm gonna be living in this sweatshirt. I got it from Amazon and I just checked in the shipping it's still pretty long, like it's not on Prime. But I saw a sweatshirt kind of like this from Everlane and it was like more than $100 and I wanted it so bad for like two falls. And I saw this one on Amazon and I was like, okay, I'm getting it. So I feel like the shipping is so worth it. It's October 4th and it said it would get here like on the 15th. 
um, when I checked today. So it's not really that, that bad, but I feel like it's so worth it. Go check out my Amazon storefront, by the way, because it has such good things on it, especially like the fall fashion category. But I've been adding like every single week. I mean, honestly, sometimes daily because I just find so many random things on Amazon. I'm like, okay, I need this. I need this. And I need this. So, okay, I'm going to stop rambling and get back to editing my vlog. Vlog has been posted. It's 625 and now I just like want to get outside but also I don't because it's really hot out there and I keep forgetting that it's like not fall outside because like my clothes that are coming in are like more fall transitional pieces and I'm like wearing them inside the house because we keep it super cold in here but then I'm like oh it would be so nice to like be outside and enjoy the nice weather and then I'm like it's literally 90 degrees outside still like I don't want that I don't want to be sweating right now I do want to still go to South Congress um, Ryan needs to get a hat for ACL I kind of want to check out aloe yoga before our beach trip so I just texted him, he's playing golf again. <laughs> and I just texted him and I was like, can you come home, hurry up. <laughs> I wanna go to South Congress. So hopefully he sees that and actually comes home soon. I'm starting to get hungry, it's like 6.46. Ryan told me that he's gonna play golf until like seven something. So I don't think we have time to go to South Congress. So we'll just go later this week. But I have these from Trader Joe's samosas. So freaking good. I feel like at um, like Indian grocery stores, they have so much frozen food, but you can never find samosas with meat in them. They're always like potatoes. And I love me some meat samosas. So I'm gonna do that. And then since he's coming home soon, I'll probably just stick these in the oven with those. Buffalo style chicken poppers, same deal. They literally look like samosas too. When my mom was in town, we went to H Mart, which is an Asian grocery store and they had an Indian section and I saw this and I was like, holy crap. This just is like bringing back my childhood. So I had to get that. It is Maggie, it's hot and sweet sauce. So like a tomato, but like, like a sweet tomato, but like a little spicy kick. I can't describe it, it is just so good. And now I feel like I'm eating it with everything I'm making, but it does go so well with samosas. Instagram and Facebook like was back up and then like I still couldn't post and it was weird because I saw other people posting and it was just so annoying, but it's finally working. So I think the world is back to normal. I literally don't know what my hair is doing right now, but it's pretty late, it's like, 9.46 and Sophie was stinky. So I gave her a bath and then I'm gonna take her out and then I'm gonna give myself a bath. Good morning, we got Chick-fil-A for breakfast. It's 9.33 and I was doing some notes for a call, like preparing for a call. And then I just found out the call got canceled but I still have to like do the notes so I'm gonna finish that. Let's see what's on my work to do list. I have to still work on that Facebook cover page audit and then the website audit. Um, and then I'm gonna add to a presentation, like an organic social media presentation so it can go in our training um, for new, like, what are they called? Uh, leasing and marketing managers so that they can take the training and that they can like know all of our requirements for all that. So honestly, just two really big and tedious projects, but they're going to make a big impact, which I'm gonna definitely feel rewarded after I finish them. I wanna get a lot of stuff done because I did end up taking off like six days. Well, I only work Monday through Thursday. So when I go to the beach, I'm just gonna work like one Thursday and one Monday just so that I can like, you know, tie loose ends, do what I need to do and then like go have fun. So I'm glad that that got accepted. I'm watching YouTube on my other computer while I work. And I also wanna get ready today. I am actually having a couple of people over for Bachelor in Paradise finale. So I think we're gonna do like a wine night cheese board situation. So that should be fun. I should probably go get like a couple more things from the, the grocery store and definitely wine because we have red wine, but I am a Riesling slash Moscato girl. 
I'm like even pink Moscato. I don't know. My taste buds have not changed. It's 12.15 and I'm just taking a break from that audit thing. I'm going like bonkers just because I'm like doing the same thing over and over again. But I have to make edits to a video I made for one of our properties. Basically when I make videos for the properties and I haven't gone to the property to film my own content, I have to like take videos from other videos that look like their property so it's kind of tough um and that's why i'm having to do edits because i think a couple of the clips that i put in didn't look like their property and i don't really know what their property looks like so that's also tough but while i'm doing this i'm also watching the like to know it like live video conference thing it's not really a conference i don't know what i'm talking about i think they're just talking about like the year in the past and what's to come if you guys didn't know like to know it is an app where you can shop all your favorite influencers outfits and beauty favorites home decor literally everything i'm very active on like to know it so definitely go follow me there and i'm gonna get back to work i usually take my lunch break at about like 12:30. Just like a 30 minute lunch break, but I think I'm gonna push it off because I want to like finish this shit. I'm on my lunch break and I decided to do my makeup um, because I do need to film a brand TikTok later and I've been pushing it off <laughs> for a couple days now and I'm just gonna like do it. It's pretty simple, it's at HEB and I need to go to HEB anyway, so that is why I'm doing my makeup and I've been loving the Charlotte Tilbury um, contour wand. I know it's sold out pretty much everywhere, um, but if you ever do see it on Sephora, if it's ever in stock, seriously get it. It is so good. Um, I got it in the color medium deep, and it just like makes contouring look so fast, but also so glam at the same time. Honestly, the only thing I can think of at H-E-B that I need is wine for tonight, because I told my friends to bring um, like BYOB bring their own booze, bring their own wine. So I have like this wine from um, Trader Joe's, but wait, I think I told you guys it was red. I didn't like it. So I just want to get something else. Oh yeah, I forgot my battery died when I told you guys. Okay, contour is done. Now blush time. This is also such a good product that I recently got. Um, okay, this is the Fenty blush in Rose Latte and it is such a pretty color. I ate popcorn the other night and like not the healthy kind, like the movie theater butter packet and literally my face immediately started breaking out. And it's not like a bad breakout, but just like kind of like an irritated breakout. Like I don't even really think it's like a pussy pimple. <laughs> Sorry, that's TMI, but it's just like, like very irritated, like almost itchy. So I'm gonna remember this next time I want movie theater butter. <laughs> I'm lactose intolerant, but I don't know. I didn't think it would affect my face. I clocked out of work, took out Sophie, and I put on this shirt that Ryan actually got for ACL. It is a Grateful Dead shirt, and it actually is so cute. Definitely gonna steal it after ACL. Um, but it's from Amazon, and it's pretty affordable, so I'll link it down below. Um, but currently, I'm just going through my fridge and seeing like what we need doing a little fridge audit um, because we're gonna go to HEB right after this, so. Do you want more creamer, coffee creamer? Yeah, I need it. Just got home from HEB and we bought so much stuff and I'm we're so leaving sorry. next Thursday, so. But I was thinking we should have like stuff for ACL just cause I mean, we'll probably like eat some stuff there, but also we don't want to be like worrying about food before or after. So we got some stuff for the weekend and- More HEB bags. My God, we really need to get better at um, just remembering to bring these HEB bags into our cars. Like, I'm literally going to do that. I swear, next time I'm gonna have my bags. Time really just got away today because my friend is already on her way, or she said she was like one minute away. So now I'm stressed. And I wanna take Sophie down to take her out. And I got her a new leash. Guys, you're gonna think I'm fucking insane, but <laughs> this leash was not cheap, if you guys know. This is the brand Wild One. I get, just get so many Instagram ads, probably because I've talked about it a lot with Ryan. I really wanted to get it for Sophie. Um, but yeah, 
I got her a little cute leash that's like so minimal and aesthetic and I think she's gonna love it. Always like put Angela in charge of the, the artistic yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like it has like we're really watching really Bachelor in Paradise, but we're not actually watching it. it. This is what always happens. Post. We never watch. <laughs> I already told Brenna I'm not gonna watch, so I'm gonna chit chat the whole time. Well, I'm, okay, well, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Happy Wednesday, y'all. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. If you don't already know me, oh, we're gonna try <laughs> Lock Lum Coffee Draft Latte Milk Oat Milk. It's Wednesday, and I always see this like oat milk latte thingy, can thingy. Yeah. I don't even like coffee, but I just wanna be trendy and cool and drink this shit. I got like a little mouthful. Oh, that's cool. All right, taste test. Just like cold brew, oh no. Ew, so I'm not gonna like it? Mm -hmm. Cold brew? It doesn't really taste, I don't know. It's not like sugary. I don't, I don't like coffee. Why do I do this to myself? Anyways, it is almost like 10 or maybe a little before 10. And I have to finish the project I was doing yesterday, the like Facebook audit, um, video audit. Now I actually have to like redo some of the videos and link those so that my boss can send that to the website people. We have like a company that does like, I guess all the property sites websites. So they're gonna go in and embed those videos into the websites. Sometimes you just have to eat cereal. I usually eat avocado toast, like majority of the mornings, but I don't really want to do all of that and put in all that effort and clean, so we're doing cereal. This is Honey Bunches of Oats, best cereal. It always feels so good when you finally just finish a project and then can move on to other stuff on your to-do list. It feels feeling so productive. I just put on some eye patches. This is my first time using eye patches, I think. And I got these, it's from Pixie. It's the Detoxify Caffeine and Cucumber Depuffing Eye Patches. They feel so good. I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes and take them off. It's almost 12 p.m. and I have a call at 1 something that I have to prepare for. Um, so I'm doing like a little audit for like these Instagram feeds for the property site, Facebook, and to Google My Business. Um, so just making sure that they're like meeting the requirements and posting and also just seeing if anything needs to be changed on their profiles. Getting shit done. Yay, I'm kind of tired though. It is six. I got off at three and I took a nap for so long, but now we're gonna go to South Congress and check out the aloe store. I checked out the store like right after I got my boobs done just to, like get out of the house. So I wasn't like really in the shopping mood, but now that I'm healed, I am thinking about getting some stuff from Aloe. And then we need to go to Alan's Boots to get Ryan a hat for ACL. <laughs> closed we were like walking over there i was like i need to check the hours before we make the trek over there and it was freaking closed it was like literally right at seven when i checked and it was closed at seven so i was sad about that i got this aviator nation hat it's actually an acl aviator nation hat so that is really cool and i think i'm gonna maybe wear it on sunday i still haven't fully figured out my acl outfit so <laughs> kind of stressing about that but i have like somewhat of an idea um but i did get like a bunch of amazon packages so i thought i would open them on camera. I actually just got another hat in the mail. This one is for ACL, so hopefully it's actually cool. So this is what I think I'm gonna do for Saturday. Bucket hat. Ryan, what do you think? Is it cool like pigtails? You like it? Looks really cool. They have like a bunch of different colors and it's like this shirling material, so I'll link it down below, but I need to like get these like crinkles out of it. Here is another thing for ACL. It's our hydration pack. Those hydration packs are so much more affordable than I thought they would be. Okay, this next one's kind of random, but basically my mom has been talking about dates and like whenever I go to her house, she always puts like dates in my oatmeal 
and I really want to date, so I Amazon primed them. And she said she likes Majul dates the best, and these are pitted. So finally got dates. Now I have to figure out what I want to like do with them. We're making steak tacos tonight, so Ryan's getting the meat all ready. But I have such an exciting package. As you guys can see, he's making the steak in my R Place pan. Um, it is called Always Pan, but they made a pot and they were so kind enough to send it over and I'm like so excited about it because um, I asked for that pan for my birthday, right? Yeah. And um, he got it on the Black Friday sale, but look how freaking adorable this pot is. Oh my God. I'm really excited to like cook some fall stews, fall soups, all of that kind of stuff. And it matches my pan over there. Ooh, okay, here it is. I got it in the color steam. And it also has like this really nice spout right here. Which is gonna come in handy. How good does the steak look? Ryan kills it every time. Yeah, and the tortillas. It looks so good. Ryan seasons the steak so well. You wanna give your secret away or no? <laughs> Mm. I just want to eat the meat alone. It's so good. Okay, so I want to watch Squid Games and Ryan says that it's just a marketing tactic. They do the same thing with Bird Box, didn't they? What? Didn't they do the same thing with Bird Box? Everyone talked about it. Like, Did you watch that? I tried. It was bad. It was bad? Well, apparently people at my work are like literally obsessed. Like, very... With Bird Box? Yeah, no. Um, Squid Games. Are they obsessed or is it cool on social media? The thing is, yeah, that's that's the thing. Like, I feel like I want to know what it is because I see it on social media and, like, I want to be in the know. Just like I was talking about how I just watched Bachelor for, to be in the know, you know? Also, can we talk about the fact that three people got engaged? Well, six people got engaged. That's, like, kind of a lot. Yeah. We're redeeming ourselves on the margaritas. They're just used to mix this time. Better. Okay, we're gonna just stick to this mix. This is the mix we use. Yeah, the good stuff. I asked Ryan to watch Squid Games. We can watch it. How long is it? A movie or what? No, it's a show. Or clickbait. Or manifest. It's Thursday and I'm so sorry I did not vlog while I was working today. It's almost 4 p.m. and I'm actually meeting someone to get my ACL tickets for this weekend. I'm going with Honda Stage, so I'm meeting the guy at like the marketing agency or the influencer agency to hand off the tickets or the wristbands, I guess. I don't know, I've never been to a festival before, so this is all new to me. I'm wearing my ACL hat for this occasion, and I actually really like the red. I'm wearing my um, brown set active set, and it just like looks really good, like a pop of color, and honestly, you guys know, I'm like definitely more into the neutrals than colorful things, but I feel like this is a fun little hat to have. Um, but I'm gonna text him, tell him I'm here a little bit early. I also need to drop something off at UPS, and then I need to get gas ASAP. And tonight, we're going to a haunted house. Me and Ryan are. It's called a House of Torment, and I'm a little bit worried because we've been to Netherworld in Georgia, which is awesome. They've been doing it for so long, and then we've also been to Halloween Horror Nights at Universal. I've been like multiple times because I went to UCF in Orlando. I really don't think anything could even compare to Halloween Horror Nights, but I still wanted to try out a haunted house here in Austin. There's actually two that I know of. I think there are probably more. This haunted house that we're going to is called House of Torment. And then there's another one called, I think, Hollow Screams or Scream Hollow. That one was only open on the weekends. I kind of wanted to go to that one more, but we literally don't have any weekends open in the month of October since we're going to the beach um, next week, like on Thursday. So this was like the last day to like get anything really Halloween related in, which is kind of sad because I still need to carve some pumpkins maybe we can do that at the beach i don't know we'll see but yeah so that is a little update i'm so excited for the haunted house i feel like i'm not really in like the spooky mood but we did start squid games yesterday we got through the second episode and it's actually kind of good like i didn't really i mean like obviously if everyone's talking about it it has to be somewhat good right it's definitely very interesting so i'm excited to continue watching that and that i guess put me in a spooky vibe because i had to take sophie out after it kind of just made me feel weird because it's like more of a gory show um but anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling and text the guy. I got the goods. We got VIP tickets and we have this Honda stage band, which is gonna get us access to like the side stage of the Honda stage, which is 
I kind of want to say the main stage, like Miley Cyrus is going to be there, Meg Thee Stallion is going to be there, but I think they close it off for those two, but like still we have uh, Machine Gun Kelly is going to be there, I forgot who else, but it's still going to be so freaking cool, oh my goodness. I'm pretty sure I showed dumplings in this vlog, um, but we're making some more dumplings, the same brand, but just like a bigger packet, and the other ones were more like, I don't, I don't know what the difference is, I guess this is like gyoza? I mean, it does say it's dumplings, but anyways, the other ones were different. I love those, but they have big packs of these. So we're just gonna make them for dinner really quick and then probably head out the door to see the haunted house. Ryan got a haircut and it looks so good for ACL and the beach. Apparently he said the barber went shorter than he wanted. I would have, yeah, went like just as long, just cleaned up and a little tidier. Yeah, that's a lot shorter. <laughs> I know, and I was like, but it looks so good. I'm glad he went short. We just got here and we will keep you guys updated to see if this is like better than Netherworld in Georgia or if it even like meets our standards. <laughs> Cause I feel like, like I said, I went to Halloween Horror Nights, even you did. Did you like that? Yeah, it was fun. And they had so many um, houses at Halloween Horror Nights. Um, but also that like Halloween Horror Nights is more like mechanical stuff. Like they didn't have that many actors there, you know? Yes, they did. Like, but, like at Netherworld. Thing. At Netherworld, they have like so many actors. That's like their big thing, I feel like. Yeah. I don't know. We'll keep you guys updated, but I'm so excited. I love haunted houses. And we actually really liked it. Mm -hmm. I thought it was really well done. Like the sets and everything. Um, there was like, I can't even remember what the first house would have been the scariest of the time they were in. Oh, okay, yeah. So the first house we went in and like we were like behind a group. Basically, like we were the last ones in the group, so they got all the scares, or like the people jumping out at them. So we saw the people like go back in their hiding spot and they didn't come out for us because like they just scared someone. So that was kind of sucky because like I felt like that would have been the best house. Um, and then there was like a clown house, and then there was, I don't, oh, uh, like a, what's it called, like a prison house. I think the clown, yeah, the prison house was the first one, the clown house was the second one, and then the third one was the what? Is it like? Oh yeah, it was just like spooky, like antique house vibes, I don't know. But definitely recommend going because it wasn't as expensive as the one in Georgia. Like I honestly thought it was a pretty good price for like three houses. Um, I think for both of us, we paid like 55 total. And definitely recommend going on a weekday because there was barely any lines. Like we did have to wait, but like maybe 15 minutes max. And like, that's not even that big of a deal. Sometimes you just need like a break between the houses. It also isn't that far away. It was like, literally 12 minutes away from our house at least. I'm gonna end the vlog here because tomorrow is ACL and I wanna start a whole new vlog for ACL. Um, probably gonna bring like my mini camera or just vlog on my iPhone, haven't decided yet. But I got some more Amazon packages for ACL. My clear backpack came. I don't know if I said this, but I found out that our VIP tickets get us free drinks. And that is amazing because I was kind of planning on sneaking in like <laughs> a clear like rubber flask. Just because I heard alcohol is really, really expensive and I thought, you know, might as well try to. Um, but now I'm just like, do we need to? Because we get free drinks if we're in VIP, but apparently the lines might be a little bit long. So, so. like pre-game and then just keep it going with the- Pre-game, yeah. Free drinks probably. Yeah, but we also have a parking pass. So we're thinking about like driving there and like just bringing a cooler in the car. Like I said, it's my first ACL, first music festival ever. Send your prayers because even just like waiting in those lines, I was like, damn, like I'm like my feet are tired, you know? So I don't know how I'm gonna do three freaking days standing up, but we're gonna do it. If you guys aren't already following me on Instagram, go ahead and do so. It's so underscore gnarly without the G and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.